Welcome to wonderful Indonesia. The world's heart of wonders. Seventeen thousand islands. Five thousand kilometers across the equator. Jewels of the fertile, life-giving ring of fire. For thousands of years, the great archipelago have mystified world travelers and sea voyagers alike with its endless wonders of nature. Native spice wonders of the archipelago set the beginnings of the ancient spice route, the earliest trade connection between the East and the West. The archipelago became Asia's first crossroad of world cultures, adopting ways of the Islamic, Oriental, Hindu, Buddhist and Western civilizations. Early in its history, Indonesia was already an open society, a rich fusion of diverse cultural contents that produced some of the most amazing creative wonders acknowledged today as the world's cultural heritage of humanity. Through time, it is evident that Indonesia's greatest wonder lies deep within, inside the hearts of its 240 million peace-loving, nature-loving people. The wisdom of graceful living with nature and with one another is the essence of the Indonesian way of life, where tolerance nurtures harmony among peoples of different faiths, cultures and traditions. It is all reflected in the Indonesian smile, the smile that says, we are blessed, we are thankful, what Indonesia has become since its independence in 1945 is nothing short of remarkable. Today, we are the third largest democracy in the world. Since 2004, under the new leadership of the first directly elected president, Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, we have pursued a pro-growth, pro-poor, pro-job, pro-environment development strategy. Indonesia is now an emerging economy and a member of the G20, ranked as the 16th largest economy in the world, with a GDP at all-time high, close to 1 trillion US dollars. We have the most robust economy and middle class in Southeast Asia. Economic annual growth has been sustained at close to 6% and in the past two years, growth has been above 6%. Exports tripled from 60 billion US dollars in 2004 to almost 200 billion US dollars in 2012. Investment growth has come close to double digit in the last few years. Universal primary level education has been introduced nationwide. Girls have enjoyed equal access to primary and middle school education since 2005 and for all levels by 2015. And in the age of climate change, a 21st century Indonesian economy is aligning itself to green growth. We have an action plan to unilaterally reduce CO2 emission by 26% by 2020, or 41% if international assistance is at hand. The past decade has clearly shown Indonesia's true potentials. Beyond its borders, Indonesia has shown equal commitment both as a regional and global player as well as a leader. However, challenges remain at home. There's still much work to do to eradicate poverty. In spite of the challenges ahead, 
the faith in freedom and democracy and the confidence in Indonesia's future remain unshaken. Indonesia is big and versatile enough to develop and advance as a resources economy. A modern and diversified economy based on industrialization, technology and knowledge and a heritage economy. We are a unique and dynamic country where modernity and traditions go hand in hand. But the goal has never been about wealth alone. It is about shared wealth and economic justice. We want to ensure the highest level of welfare for the people with a decent living standard for each individual. With confidence, unity and hard work, Indonesia believes a world of opportunities lies ahead. Amidst the inevitable force of globalization, we are aiming to become an important place for the world to play, pray, study, work and invest. Indonesia will always remain an open, tolerant society where Islam, democracy and modernity coexist to both benefit from and contribute to a better world today and in the future. Just how will Indonesia look 30 years from now? In the visionary words of President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono, I envision a century-old Indonesia standing on the three great pillars that make up a great modern state, a strong and just economy, a stable and modern democracy, and a thriving civilization.